wish you were here. Mm -hmm. This to say you miss someone. Perfect. I wish you were here in Paris with me. Nice. I wish you were here. It's an expression. هو تعبير يعبر عن what? What do you think? أتمني. ممتاز. أتمنى. يعبر عن that and it. كمان يعبر عن اشتياقي لشخص. I wish you were here, Jasmine. What does it mean? أتمنى إنك موجودة معي. I wish you too. <laughs> Thank you. So when you say you wish someone uh, is here, it's like you miss them, you know? اشتقي لهم. So you yes. can say, you know, when somebody calls you, أنت مسافرة ومبسوطة. حد يرن عليك يحكي معك. You say, Oh, I wish you were here. Yes. I wish you were here. You know, it's like that. تكون جاي Like I, I miss you. Yeah, like I miss you. Can you tell me a sentence? Okay. It's hard to tell a sentence, but see you later. How are you? I wish you the life uh, before uh, Corona. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's a good one. We have to use the same phrase. نفس الجملة. So let's have a conversation with you, yeah, Jasmine. Let's have this conversation. I'm gonna call you right now. Okay. Hello, Jasmine. Hello. How are you? How are you today? Oh, I I saw your picture. You are in London. How is London? London is good. And. Uh, it's, uh, I wish I wish that uh, city. No, you say you have to say the same expression. You have to say I wish you were here. So this expression I, I, you can't change uh, it. Yes. Madrid. Yes, I wish you here. Um, oh, I thank wish, you. I wish you to see you. Thank you. Oh, thank Welcome. you. Bye. Okay, Bye. just like that. Thank cool. You. So you can't say I wish you were here for Jumla Mendu may kunti muhadasa. You know what I mean. That's why I, I have this conversation with you. Because it's always like, you can't say I wish you were here to yourself, you know? It doesn't make any sense. Ahmed, your turn. Mm -hmm. In a line, example, the menu boards are along the sidewalk. Yes, the menu boards are along the sidewalk. What does it mean along the sidewalk? Yeah, not all. Yes, very nice. So when you walk, you will see them while you are walking. So if you say the menu boards are along the sidewalk, when you walk in the street, the menu boards are the places on the street or the way you walk. It's very easy to, to look at the menu boards. Can you give me an example using along in a sentence? I see the tree along the sidewalk. That's nice. Some people plant trees along the sidewalk. Yeah, that's very nice. Cool. The next one is say, yeah. Uh, a little bit. A small amount. Mm -hmm. Can you see a little, a little bit of Paris? Yes, you can see a little bit of Paris. What is the meaning of a little bit? Galil. القليل من. Okay, so if you say a little bit, it means القليل. So you can use this expression in anything in life. هي يعني تحدد كمية معينة من شيء. So you say, for example, I want a little bit of sugar in my coffee, or a little bit of sugar in my milk, or let's go see a little bit of the festival and come back. So we're not gonna stay for the whole time. We're just going to go a little bit and then come back. So a little bit تعبر عن something that is small. كمية صغيرة من الوقت, من ال, من ال objects, من الأشياء. So ما يعتمد فقط على الوقت, يعتمد على أي شيء. Can you give me an example? Can I drink a, a little bit of water? Yeah, very good. Can I drink a little bit of water? That's good. The next one. Okay. Uh, sky, the space where the sun and moon 
a pair. Okay. Uh, example, it lights up the entire sky. Entire sky. Entire sky. What is the meaning of sky? Sky this is sama. Okay. Can you give me an example? The sky is high. The sky is high. Okay. Cool. The last one, Ahmed. Financial. An existing uh, experience. Example, I'm uh, enjoying this adventure. Excellent. What is the meaning of adventure? Can you give me a sentence? Okay. Uh, I like to watch uh, adventure movies. Adventure movies. Wow. That, that's very nice. Me too. Can you tell me an example on an adventure movie? The action. Yeah, just like the action movies. That's very good. Oops, I think there was a mistake. Okay, so all of these words, we're going to, you know, really use them in today's lesson. If somebody is, you know, trying to take a walk in Paris, they will see the Eiffel Tower and they will express about it. They will say, oh, it's going to light up the sky. Um, I will write an entry about it in my blog to see those words in today's uh, paragraph. But before that, I want you to focus on using those two important ver verbs. When I talk about something, I have to use present simple because it's right now. I'm discussing something that is happening with me now. So if I call you Jasmine, you're not going to tell me in the past. We're going to talk about right now. How is London right now? So you have to use present simple. And you also using present continuous tense. When you use present continuous to describe what are you doing right now, things that are happening right now. So Faye, I want you to read for me. When do I use present tense and when do I use present continuous tense? Ready? Yes. Let's go. You use the, the simple present tenses to talk about routine action that, that doesn't change. Don't things change. Uh, that that are always true mm -hmm. and, and the uh, present continuous tense to talk about actions that are happening right now future plans exactly so if i look at the present simple tense they are routines routines like for example i brush my hair i take a shower i go to work all of them i'm using present okay i am a teacher so there are things that don't really and things that are always true, like facts, like the sun shines from the east, or you say um, milk is white. So things that are always true, I have to use present simple. So an example is Paris is a beautiful city. Paris is a beautiful city. I use present simple because nobody ever said that Paris is an ugly city, right? So it's always true. Or if you can say, and Saudi Arabia is very unique and very traditional. It's true. So you will say facts when you use present uh, tense. While when I use present continuous tense, there are actions happening right now. So let's read the examples. Yeah, Jasmine, LA Jasmine. Uh, you use the present continuous. Where he? Uh... Um, down present tense and present continuous. Okay. Routines. I post about Paris on my blog. Present continuous that uh, tense. Uh, right now I am walking through the street of Paris. Yeah. So let's stop here for a second. There's a difference between the routines. Like I post about Paris on my blog. If you have a website, it becomes like a, a daily thing. It's like a diary. When you have something like a diary, okay? so this blog, you post it all the time. Is it interactive uh, on the social media? You will be doing it uh, regularly. So we have to do it like a routine. And in the present continuous sense, I'm, I am walking through the streets of Paris right now. Camille Jasmine, always true. 
All is true. Paris is a beautiful city. Future plans. I am posting a new entry on my blog about my adventure late. Excellent. So something that is always true, Paris is a beautiful city. It's always true. I have a fact. لازم استخدم present simple. Now, the future plans one is a little bit tricky. Now, if I just put my hand, وخبي كلمة later. If I read it like that, I'm posting a new entry on my blog about my adventure, and I stop. It becomes present continuous tense right now. But if I say I'm posting a new entry on my blog about my adventure later, كلمة later غيرت من كل معنى الجملة صارت for the future. So you can say I'm taking an English lesson in space. So now I make it in the future. Or say I'm going shopping later. If I say I'm going shopping, I'm doing it right now. But if I say I'm going shopping next week, tomorrow, I'll tell you the future um, meaning. So the difference will change if I put something يدل على وقت ليس الآن. Okay? واضحة الفرق بين the future plan. It's very nice. Mm -hmm. So when you use the present continuous with another word to talk about the future, everything becomes in the future. Tamam? So let us hear the conversation or this nice email that Sally is sending to her friend Peter. What is she going to say in this email? And then we're going to read it together. So let's listen. I wish you were here. Paris is a dream. It's a beautiful city. People always say that, and it's true. I love walking through the streets and drinking coffee at the cafes. I love visiting the bakery. There's always someone writing on a menu board. There are many along the sidewalk. I'm attaching a picture of me near the Eiffel Tower. It's beautiful at night. It lights up the entire sky. I'm emailing you more pictures soon so you can see a little bit of Paris. Actually, you can read about it. I'm posting a new entry on my blog about my adventure later. I miss you. Love, Sally. P.S. How's Amanda doing? It's not hard. It's kind of understandable, but we will discuss it right now. So let's start with the first three lines. Let's have Muhammad read them for us. Yeah, Muhammad. 